Hey everybody, Rachel here again for Church at Home with Rachel Feel Good Friday. Um, this is an extra video that I'm going to send out as soon as I've finished um, recording it because this is a really good Feel Good Friday. And if you ask me why I'm crying, these are tears of joy because as some of you may know the Anglican Church of Canada holds its um, big meetings. It's meetings of the whole body. Um, the representatives every three years is triennial. And this year they are meeting in Calgary. And I just got notice. This is so beautiful. I just got notice. It says moments ago, pastoral liturgies for journeys of gender affirmation and transition. A set of rites and prayers supplemental to the Book of Alternative Services in the Anglican Church of Canada and first known authorized liturgies of their kind in the Anglican Communion, was officially authorized by the 43rd General Synod of the Anglican Church of Canada. I, this, some of you know the story I've shared before about my friend Sam, who was born Samantha and became Samuel, um, and the difficult journey he has gone through and the beautiful place he is now in his life. And he stuck with the Anglican Church, even when the Anglican Church didn't turn against him, but ignored him. And we didn't have liturgies, and we didn't even have a way to talk about this 20 years ago. Um, and I, he taught me how to talk about this and how to become passionate about this. So for the first time ever, I wish, I'm, I'm now wishing I was at General Synod, because I wish I could have been part of this discussion and this decision. And this is a prayer. And I'm going to use Sam's name because it's got the letter N in it for, you know, put this person's name. But this is a prayer that I'd like to share with you. Holy and gracious God, you're, we ask your blessing on Sam's family and their healthcare teams and all who will support them in this process. We ask that they would know your goodness and love in them. We ask that you would guide and direct Sam and their support team in each step of this process. Sustain and can keep them. Surround them with care and comfort especially on days that are hard. Keep them in your protective embrace. And then is excerpted, excerpted from a blessing over the process of gender transition authorized in par as part of the pastoral liturgies for journeys of gender affirmation and transition by the 43rd General Synod of the Anglican Church of Canada. For those of you who struggle with where the church is and where it isn't, this is a, day, this is a manner day. Now, I have no idea what the vote was or how the conversations went, and I can only imagine, I, I feel fairly certain to say it wasn't 100%, it wasn't unanimous, because there are many, many people in the church, even in Canada, who are saying that this is not right, this is not of God. But I truly believe that this is of God, that we are moving forward to recognize our siblings in Christ, that we can support them and we can pray for them, and we can celebrate their journeys. So thanks for putting up with my tears of joy and thank you for watching. And just this is an absolutely a feel good Friday. The church is moving in the direction of the whole kingdom of God. The church is moving in the direction of love. The church is moving in the direction of recognizing that in Christ, all are included. Thanks be to God. Have an incredible long weekend, everybody. God bless you, and I will see you again on Sunday for Gospel on the Go and Monday for Church at Home with Rachel. Have an awesome weekend.